Well, good morning and welcome to James with Jesus on this uh, Saturday, June something. Uh, we are about ready to head out of camp, uh, come back down the mountain. So we'll probably be arriving between 1030, 1045-ish or so. It's been a great week, uh, best week of weather ever. The campers got along beautifully, uh, which was usually the case, but not always the case. So that was wonderful. The counselors, as always, were just wonderful with the youth. Um, so it was a really, really good week of, of camp. This morning what I was thinking about was just simply Jesus' two great commandments, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbors yourself. Uh, one of the beauties of camp is I get to interact with uh, other pastors throughout the week, and we share ideas, uh, see where how our ministries vary based on our different, different gifts, but also that which is uh, universal for us. And this week with uh, Roe v. Wade being overturned, uh, we had some good conversations um, but fundamentally, I guess I go back to Jesus' two greatest commands. What does it look like to love our neighbor? Uh, so I'll just share our brief story. Renee went into early labor with our twins uh, twice. Uh, the second time she had to be hospitalized at 27 weeks. And for the next nine days, she was pumped full of all kinds of medication, morphine, epidural, um, tributylene pump, and um, magnesium sulfate, I think it was, to the point where she almost had cardiac arrest. Uh, I. <laughs> I told the doctors, <laughs> save my wife. And Renee was saying to the doctors, save my babies. Um, that's the real life situation of removing medical procedures that are called abortions to introduce into these highly charged, emotionally nerve wracking scenarios, all I want is for the medical team to focus on saving as many lives as is possible and not be worried about being arrested or losing licenses or things like that. So that's where I come from, that I'd like it, uh, abortion, much like our social statement, uh, to be safe, to be legal, and to be as rare as humanly possible. Um, so these might be some good conversations over the course of the next few weeks, but again, I'd phrase it and, and ask us to guide it like with all Lutheran ethics decision is, how does this impact my neighbor? How do I follow Jesus' command to love my neighbor? And with that as a guiding principle, I think we can have wonderful conversations uh, regardless of where we might come out on the political spectrum or even on the legal spectrum, if we all can come to the table and say, what does it look like, um, not only with this, but with everything, what does it look like to love our neighbor? So again, it's been a fantastic week at camp. I, <laughs> I'd be lying if I didn't say that there might be a couple people that are interested in seeing their pets and their families. Um, but um, thank you so much for sponsoring our camp formation trip each year. Uh, thank you so much for your support for outdoor ministries here at Luther Rock, Luther Ridge, South Carolina Lutheran Retreat Centers, you name it. Um, they truly are places apart and do wonderful work. So let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks for a beautiful, wonderful week of camp where people developed deep and abiding friendships, uh, where we were learning to trust you in even greater detail and um, to simply try to figure out how to walk alongside one another following Jesus. We give you thanks for all the safe travel getting here, and we pray for safe travel on everybody as they make their returns back to the respective communities of faith. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So our worship services for those at Unilu, 9 and 11 a.m., and the 9 a.m. will be Facebook Live. Uh, looking forward to being with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.